Hi, welcome to Haley's Coach. Today we have a special guest named Miss Stacy. She's from the library. Hi. What are we going to make today? What are we going to make? I thought it would be great. Oh, actually, instead of telling the guest, why don't we make it a surprise? Hmm. And then maybe during the show, as we add the ingredients, they can guess what it is. Yeah. yeah. That would be good, Miss Stacy. Let's do it. Miss Stacy, what's the first step? The first very step of this is we are going to add avocados. Let's count how many I have. One. Mm hmm Two. Mm hmm Three. Three avocados. But the fun part is going to be mashing them. I'm going to let you mash it all up. But first we have to get the flesh, the avocado flesh, out of there. And everyone gets to guess it. Yay! Now, what are we going to do next? Now, this is where, because using a knife, it's usually best for an adult to use. So at this time, I'm going to cut it, but the fun part is you get to scoop it all out of the avocado. All right. Okay. So let me cut the first one, and then you can start scooping. Let's okay. see. This has been ripened in the window, so it will be soft for me to cut. It's best to do it in a circle just like this. And as you can see, see the circle? It goes all the way around. Now, whenever you do that, you get to twist it a little bit. And now that I've twisted it, because it's ripe, it opens really nicely. Wow. What's that inside? Oh, that's a good question. That's the seed of the avocado. And guess what? I'm going to let you get it out. All right, I'm going to pass it to you. You can get it out, and you can start scooping the flesh of the meat out. And I'm going to get you a spoon. I want you to get it out. You want me to get the seed out? <laughs> okay, I'll just use my fingers. We have washed our hands, so I'm just going to use my fingers, and I'll pull that seed out. It feels Ooh. good. It feels good. It feels soft. It almost feels like a frog. <laughs> yeah, it is very soft. So we're going to put that to the side because we don't want to eat this. I'm going to give you the spoon, and you can just start scooping it out and put it in, in your bowl. Okay. Like that? Mm-hmm, you're doing good. I'm getting hard. Hey, while you're doing that one, you want me to do this one? Yeah. And see, sometimes if you start on this side, you can scoop it this way underneath, and you get out a whole bunch. Wow, look at that one at one time. Mm. The fun part's gonna be mashing the avocado, too. I could do that. Well, you're doing really good. I like the way you're doing it too. You're doing a great job. Ooh, good. Do you feel how it's all coming out all at once now? Yeah, that's doing good. There you go. You got a lot of flesh that time. Now I'm about to do this. Where's that hurt? And do you like that green color? Not very much. <laughs> Not very much. Because green food just doesn't look delicious. Something about the color green. Yeah, I understand. I was a kid once, too, and just for some reason. <laughs> ah! Hey, that, you did good. You made it in the sink. <laughs> <laughs> now we have the avocados in the bowl. What do, we, what do we do next? Well, the next ingredient we're going to add is one tomato. And I'm going to show you a great way to add a tomato to what you're cooking. Okay. And let me show you how we'll do that. It's always involves cutting, so it's a good thing it you have an assistant today to do all this cutting. It looks very, very red. Yeah, red ripe tomato. Yeah, we definitely want it red. So we I found a good one in the grocery store. That's, that's very important whenever you do recipes to find good stuff in the grocery store. Let's see. This one I am going to cut this way, just at the very top. In this recipe, it just calls for one diced tomato. Here's your diced tomato. Before we do put in the tomatoes though, however, first I am going to let you go ahead and begin to mash the avocados. And today you have a potato masher and that'll mash them up really good. Guess it will. Do I start? Yes, you may. Kind of squishy. Yes, do you have a book you brought from the library you could read to all of them to give them a hint? Oh, to kind of let them guess kind of what we're making? 
Oh, kind of, because it is a surprise today. Sure, as a matter of fact, I do. It's called Chicks and Salsa. You'd really love this book. Let me tell you about it. Um, well, it's about these animals from the farm. They have to eat this, this farm food every day. And, well, let me show you. Here is the pictures of the chickens. The chickens, they're getting tired of all this chicken feed. Chicken feed every day. They're getting tired of chicken feed. Well, the other animals are ducks. They're getting tired of fish every day. And finally, we come to the pigs. The pigs. They're getting tired of pig slop. Yuck every day. So the rooster has a great idea. And this is what he said. I have an idea for we will have a grand fiesta. So the animals decide they're going to have a fiesta, but the problem is, hey, is where are they going to get all the ingredients? They're only farm animals. Where do they get ingredients to have a fiesta? Well, the rooster has a great idea. The rooster decides in the farmer's garden. Uh-oh! They're gonna peel for all the ingredients from the farmer's garden. So they do. They go out and they pick tomatoes and cilantro and onions and chile because they're gonna have a great fiesta. Yeah, and they're gonna make something special. Very good. So it comes time and they do. Look at them having a good time. Here they are. <laughs> <laughs> having a grand fiesta. They're all celebrating, having a great time. And guess what they're eating? They're eating nachos. Mm. They're even eating picante sauce. Mm. And they're eating guacamole. Yes, it's called guacamole. Guacamole, yeah. <laughs> For the ducks named it guacamole. And you can check out this story, Chicks and Salsa, from any one of the Waco Public Libraries. Thanks for letting me tell about my book. Oh, thank you, Miss Daisy. Guess what? What? If any of all those kids out there mm -hmm. should get a book from the library. Oh, that's a great idea. Thank you for telling them. You can get a lot of books, because when I got my library card, mm -hmm. it was cool, because I got to get a book. That is great. And the great thing about it, it's all free, right? You didn't have to take money. It's all free at the library. I'm glad that you got to come. That's great. Yeah, it was very, very fun. And the neat thing is, like I said, it is free. You can check out your book and bring it back for more books. Once you've read that, come back for more. Now we're going to add the tomatoes inside the guacamole bowl. And did anybody get a hint about the book? I'm not sure. Hmm. hmm. What's next, Miss Stacy? Let's see what's next. How about these? What do you think these are? Limes. They are limes. What color are they? Green. Yeah, we know that the ones that are green, you're right, are limes. But if you do see one that is yellow, then what would that be? It would be like... Um, a lemon. A lemon. It would be a lemon. So that's the difference in the two. So we're going to add actually two limes, as a matter of fact. This is something my grandmother taught me to get some extra juice out of a lime or a lemon. Now, we're ready I to cut it. One. Again, I'm going to cut what we have here. Again. Again. And, gr and grown-ups should cut these because if, if you're on a cooking show and you're this tiny, because I'm not really, really, <laughs> really, 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 really tiny. I just have to sneak Magic. out of the stool. Because um, when you're a little kid, you cannot. Because I'm six and sh I, I can't cut with a, like, a big knife like yeah. that. Thank you for letting me cut it. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yes. Sometimes it's even scary for me to cut it. <laughs> you can get a lot of books at the library about cooking. We have lots of um, cooking books at the library too. You should see our collection, it's very big. We have cooking books from around the world. You can cook in French, which I know you like to do. We have cooking books cooking the French way. We have cooking the Norwegian way. We have cooking the Mexican way. So there's lots that you can check out. Now that we have our limes cut, we're gonna use our citrus juicer, and we're gonna put this down here, and I'm gonna let you do this. You get to squish it down, and all the juices are gonna pour into okay. the bowl. Why can you show everybody how to do it? You want me to begin it, and then I'll let you continue it. 
I'm beginning to squish, squish, squish and squish and squish. And, and when <gasps> you're in school sometimes, like I was in um, kindergarten one time or first grade, um, I used to make um, um I used to make like um juice. I mm -hmm. used to make like like um orange juice. Like yeah. orange juice or lime juice or lemonade. That's how you do I it. Made also lemonade. good. Good. You've made a lot of stuff, haven't you? Now you can go ahead and pour that inside. Okay. Like that. Mm hmm. Fantastic. Now what's the next step? The next step. We've had lots of steps, haven't we? So the next step is going to be these. What does that look like? Hmm. It looks like like leaves. Yeah. Looks like leaves. But these leaves have a special name. You want to smell them? Hmm. They smell pretty good. Kind of sweet. <laughs> like, Did it tickle yum. your nose? Yeah, mm -hmm. it tickled your nose. Now this is called the cilantro. Can you say cilantro? Cilantro. Yeah. And you can like pick inside like and Yeah. And you can feel the juice inside. Yeah, it feels wet, doesn't it? Yeah, it's like but it's actually wet. when we add this, we want to take the stems off. We just want the leaves of the cilantro. So you want to help me pick some of the leaves off? Let's pick some of the leaves off the stem. Why do we need the stem? Well, Why we're we going to just throw away the stems. Um, Miss Stacy, are you going to cut it or not? Well, now that we do have the leaves, it's probably best that we go ahead and cut them. Okay, here's a knife. Oh, you just happen to have one for me. Thank you. <laughs> Let's see. I'm just going to... It doesn't have to be in any certain pattern. We just kind of want to get them chopped up a little bit. Miss Stacy, why do you have to cut them? Because they're kind of big pieces, and so just want to uh, get them cut up a little bit. Yeah, like those little tiny pieces. Right yeah. There. Yeah, you can pick it up like that and go if you want to. Okay, Miss Stacy. Miss Stacy, this is a very fun day. Maybe those people are still guessing. That's right. They've had lots of clues for what we are making because we have avocados and tomatoes and cilantro, lime juice. We have one more ingredient to add, yes. and that's the onions. Do you like onions? Nee. <laughs> nah. Okay, you know what, since you really don't like onions, today we won't add it, but the kids can um, if they'd like at home with their own recipe. Yes, um, because you can make it your own, but we are not going to put it in here. We could just put like a little bitty smell like that. Yeah. Smell like that. You're right, they do have a smell to them. That's yes, right. We We're going to put them over here. Now it's time to stir it. Right, Miss Stacy? That's right. I'm going to watch as you stir it all together. Stir and mix. Miss Stacy, why won't mm -hmm. you grab the chips okay. and I'll go get the special guest. Thank you, I will. Ooh, I have chips to go with our recipe. Here. Who could our special guest be? There she is. <laughs> Miss Cheyenne, this is my daughter. This is Miss Cheyenne and she's two years old. Hey, would you like to taste our recipe with us? Let's she try it. Love. You get to take the first bite. Nah, I want Cheyenne here. You want Cheyenne to taste it for you? Okay. Yes. Do you like that, Cheyenne? Cheyenne likes avocados, so she likes what we made today. How about that, Haley? Can you see? She's a special guest, and she loves what we made. I hope everybody makes this, but if you make it without that, they could still be good. And make it with salt and pepper if you want. Yeah, salt and pepper is very important also. You can yeah. add that to taste, too. Yeah, but we forgot You know that. what? Cheyenne is really digging in. She likes our recipe. Hey, how about this can be the time for you to tell what our surprise recipe is. Okay, has everyone guessed? I hope they have guacamole. Guacamole, give me five. You did good. Give me five, give me five. <laughs> All right, because Cheyenne likes our guacamole. I enjoyed doing the guacamole with you. Thanks for making it with me. Thank you. See you next time on Bailey's Cooking Show. Bye-bye. <laughs>